everyone welcome back to my channel thank you so much to my subscribers welcome newcomers i hope you like what you see and if so be part of this journey with us by hitting that subscription button it is free you know that or you should know that and please if you like the video give a thumbs up on the video not just in my creations but whoever's creations you're watching we all depend on you to keep growing our channels and to keep putting out these beautiful patterns for you guys for free and of course a lot of a lot of hours dedication um to have these beautiful patterns put out i would like to mention i do have a facebook private group you're more than welcome to join if you have a profile pic and um, what else? I have Instagram, TikTok, um, crochet page. Everything is listed below in the description box. You can follow me through there. And uh, if you're stuck in a project and need help, you can also message me through there. If you have some of these social medias, it's much easier to get back to you then and quicker than on here on YouTube. Okay, so I would like to mention that the threads I use, these are Portugal threads. They're four-ply, 100% cotton threads. We go by number, not by name of color. So this one is like an aqua greenish, uh, something like that, 44. So that's the, the color number, 44. These are similar to Aunt Lydia number three, of course, better uh, quality. Um, and Lydia number three cotton. If you use Aunt Lydia number three, your patterns will become bigger. Okay. In case you don't have these type or can't not get access to these type, then you can double or triple your Aunt Lydia number 10. Remembering also, if your tension is loose, go a hook or two higher to, to um, not higher, sorry, a hook or two lower than your normal so you can tighten up your tension if your tension is too tight then go a hook or two higher so you can loosen up your tension i use most of the time 2.75 hook a small one to tuck in loose ends and a pair of scissors a lot of you ask me for my threads i do ship them out they're 12 dollars a ball they're 100 grams 300 to 325 uh, uh, yards um, the shipping is included, minimum order of six balls. Okay, that's at least to pay for the shipping because I gain nothing from it. It's horrendous, the shipping out here in Europe. Okay, so we're going to get started. Please, sharing is caring. If you can, invite your friends and family to be part of this journey with us. Thank you so much and blessings and hugs to all of you. Let's get started. Okay, everyone, so today I'm going to create a very old pattern that I had designed and created many years ago, and I'm just going to bring it out to you guys since there's so much of demands of pineapples, so I hope you're going to enjoy. It's a round centerpiece, table centerpiece, perfect for a small table too. You can put it over top with a nice uh, tablecloth um, beneath it, and that over looks stunning. Um, so it's a, li a little bit similar, the edging, to this one that I had launched yesterday, except it's not triples, um, and it's two sets of pineapples. But the edging here is exactly the same finish. So I hope you're going to enjoy it, and thank you so much for being here. And, you know, newcomers, thank you. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Also give a thumbs up on the video, of course, if you like it. Thank you so much. Let's get started. Oh, 2.75 hook. I'll be using white. And of course, you need a pair of scissors and a small one to tuck in your loose ends. Thank you, everyone. You will need to do either the magic circle. And if you have a hard time, then you can do an 8 to 10 chain. Okay, depending upon your tension. We don't want a very, uh, we don't want a small hole because it's going to take 24 double crochets in here. So I went in with a slip stitch just to secure then a single usually this is how I start my first double crochet I'm going to have a total of 24 double crochets okay this is row one I have done my 24 double crochets I'm just going to pull in a bit but I don't want to over close it because it will 
pull too much tension. I have time to do that once I do a few more rows. Okay, so I'm going to close in with a slip stitch. I'm going to come back in and I'm going to do my single and my two chain. In the same stitch, I'm going to create a shell of two double crochet, two chain, and two more double crochet. I also might have to go to video two because there's a lot of details to this. I'm going to do a two chain and I'm going to skip one, two, three, come in my fourth. This towel I have created many, many years ago. And I hope I can remember still some of the stitching. If I don't, then it's going to be some other stitching to it. One, two, three on the fourth. So we're going to have six groups of shells. It's just so much uh, stitching, so much crochet. We can't remember everything, right? Okay, so six groups, skip, uh, going to your fourth, skip three, going to your fourth. So I have done my six groups of shells with two chain space between them. You should know that if your tension is too tight, use a hook or two bigger than your normal size. If it's too loose, use a hook or, or two smaller than your normal size. So I've closed in with slip stitch. I'm going to do the walk. I call it the walk with slip stitch into the center of this shell and create again another shell with two double crochet. So I did a single two chain. Most of you normally do your three chain. That's fine. Also, you do the way that you feel comfortable creating your first double crochet. Okay. I'm going to do one chain and I'm going to come in the center here and do a double crochet. We're on row three. One, two, three chain. Coming back in, I'm creating a V and two chain space again. Shell. So we're going to repeat this all the way around. There's no point of keep repeating the same thing. It takes too much memory on my mobile. And so I'll just always record the beginning of the row, and then you know it's just a repeat. So shell, one chain, double crochet, three chain, double crochet, two chain, or one chain, I should say, and shell. Repeat that all the way around. Okay, everyone, so we are on row four, one, two, three, and four. So I've closed in with slip stitch, did the walk to the center, created my single, my two chain. So I've done my shell. I'm going to do one, two chain. Coming in here, and I'm going to do seven double crochets. This is the foundation of my first pineapple. Two chain, seven double crochets. Two, four, six, seven two chain and create your shell again. So we're going to repeat this all the way around the same way. I'll meet you at the beginning of row five. Going into row five. So I've closed in with slip stitch, then my shell. One Two chain. I'm coming in the first double crochet with double crochet. One chain space between them. We'll have a total of seven double crochets. I've done my seven double crochets. One chain space between them. Chain two and create your shell. We're going to repeat this all the way around the same way. everyone going into row six so I'm doing my shell but row six it's going to be three double crochet shell two chain and three more double crochet 
Okay, so three double crochet shells. One, two, three. We're going to start the loops for the pineapples. One, two, three. You're supposed to have five loops of three chain. One, two, three, four, five, and three chain. And your shell of three double crochet this time. Two chain and three more double crochet. I'll meet you at the beginning of row seven. Okay, everyone going into row seven. So I've closed in with slip stitch, then the walk. Now row seven is four double crochets. Your shell of four double crochets. And of course, three chain for the uh, pineapple loops. Simple. I will leave the link also for the people that missed the pineapple I launched today. I'll leave it below in the description box in case you're interested to create that uh, centerpiece doily. Okay, so four double crochets, two chain, and four more. We're going to repeat this all the way around the same way. I'll meet you at the beginning of row eight. Okay, everyone getting into row eight. Now it's going to change up a bit. So I've closed in with a slip stitch. I'm going to come back in. I'm going to do a single two chain. So we're going to do four double crochets over the four double crochets. Two, three, and four. Okay one chain. I'm coming in the center and I'm doing two double crochets. One chain. I'm coming in on top of the four double crochets with double crochet. The pineapple stays the same, the three chains. That's the only thing that's different here on this row is the four double crochet, one chain, two in the center. One chain, four double crochet, one, two, three, everything else stays the same. Okay. I'll meet you at the beginning of row nine. Okay, everyone going into row nine. So I've closed in with slip stitch. I'm going to come back in. You can do just your normal three chain if that's what you're used to. Into the next one. So I'm doing my four double crochets. Two chain. Coming in that first double crochet and I'm creating two double crochets in the same stitch. Two chain. Creating again on my second double crochet. Two double crochet in the same stitch. Two chain, proceed with your four double crochets. This will be the next foundation of the second pineapples. Everything else stays the same. It's a three chain. The only difference is, is on here. Okay, four double crochet, two chain, two double crochet on the first double crochet, two chain and two double crochet on the second, two chain and four double crochets. One, two, three chain. Everything else stays the same for the pineapples. I'll meet you at the beginning of the next row. Okay, everyone going into row nine. So I'm going to come in, do 
do my single, my two chain. So we're going to create these four double crochets. Two chain. I'm going to do one double crochet here inside of this chain space. And one for each double crochet here. So we're increasing. I'm going to do one chain, or actually two chain. I'm coming into center and I'm doing two double crochets, two chain again. If your tension is too loose, do a one chain only. And then one for double crochet, exactly how we did here. And one inside of the chain space. So we have three. We're going to do a two chain and do your four double crochets. This is what's different on this row. The pineapple stays the same with the three chains. Okay, so four double crochet, two chain, one inside, one double crochet inside of the chain space, two, one, two, two chain two in the center two double crochet two chain and again the same thing as we did here one in the center two chain and the four double crochet continue with your three chain for your um small pineapple okay okay everyone going into row 11 continuing to do the four double crochets Two chain, one double crochet again inside of the chain space, and one per stitch. So you should have four double crochets here now. Two chain, coming in the first double crochet, one double crochet, one chain, one double crochet. Actually, sorry, one double crochet, one chain, and another double crochet in the same stitch. One chain, and into the next double crochet. One chain, and into the same stitch. So you're going to have four in the center here with one chain space between them. Two, chain, and create your four double crochets here. That means you have to do the one inside of the chain space to chain and create your four double crochets. Three chain, come into center and do your last loop. And again, repeat the same thing as we just finished doing. Four double crochets. Two chain. One in the chain space. Again. Two chain, come on your first double crochet, one chain, and again another one, one chain, and into your second, and again. Okay, so we're just going to repeat exactly what we've done here. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, going into row 12. Again, creating those four double crochets. Two chain space. And four double crochets again. Two 
two chain, double crochet, one chain. So two in the same space, one chain space between them. Double crochet, one chain space, and again. So you should have eight double crochets. Double crochet, one chain, in the same stitch, double crochet. So we have six, one chain, one chain space between them, and repeat the four double crochets. Two chain space, so your two chain and your four double crochets. Two chain and four double crochets again. Now we're going to close in our pattern here of, the, of this small pineapple coming in directly and doing four double crochets and everything else again it's a repeat of what we just did. Two chain and continue again with your four double crochets and then going into your double crochets, one chain space. Remember, it's uh, two chain here and here. Okay, everyone, going into row 13. Now, if you wanted to keep it just as a small little doily for a small shell area, this would be perfect. You would just close up with singles. Just a suggestion for you. Okay, so now I'm going to come back in. I'm going to do my single, my two chain, or you can do your three chain as you're used to doing. Next stitch, double crochet, and next stitch, double crochet. So I'm not doing the last one, nor the first one. Chain two. Doing my four double crochets, as we've been doing here. Okay. Two chain coming on top of the first double crochet with double crochet in between the double crochets double crochet on top double crochet in between double crochet so it's going to be like this on this motive you should have 15 double crochets I've done my 15 double crochets I'm gonna do my two chain and create my four double crochets. Now here, we're going to skip the first one, two chain, go into the second, create three double crochet, one per stitch. Okay, into the next one into the next one and again two chain and continue to proceed the same way as we just finished doing your four double crochets and now it just repeats again the same thing i'll meet you in the next row okay everyone so i've closed in so I have my six double crochets. I'm going to come back in and do my single, my two chain. Okay. Coming into the next one, doing my double crochet. So now here we're going to have four. We'll complete when we come back again. We're not working on the last nor the first. 
one, two, three chain this time. And doing four double crochets. Two chains coming on top of the first double crochet where we have the 15 doing one per stitch one chain space between them so we'll have the 15 double crochet space one chain between them one chain double crochet one chain double crochet okay I've done my 15 double crochets, one chain space, two chain now, and do your four double crochets. Three chain, one, two, three. Skip the first one, come into your second. Next double crochet, next double crochet, and next double crochet. One, two, three chain, continue and proceed this way all the way around the same way as we just been doing your four double crochets. Your two chain your double crochet on top of double crochet, one chain space. And we're going to continue to repeat the same thing. Okay. Okay, everyone, going into row 16, uh, not 16, sorry, 15. Let me just check here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So row 15 and 16 are exactly the same. So this is row 15. I'm doing my double crochet and I'll complete the four when I come back. Chain three. Doing the four double crochet so this row 15 and 16 are exactly the same way just four double crochets three chain one two three chain going into the first uh, between the first and the second double crochet with your three chain for the pineapples okay so we're doing the loops for the pineapples, three chain. I have 13 loops of three chain for the pineapple. Again, chain three. Create your four double crochets. one two and three create your four double crochets remember what i said this here becomes four now it's right between the small pineapple one two three chain create your four And repeat again everything with the pineapple loops three chain so okay so I'll meet you at the end of row 16 this is row 15 it's exactly the same thing row 16 as row 15 so you're just going to create your four double crochets your three chains and your pineapple loops okay you guys so I've done row 15 and 16 which was exactly the same thing 16 and 15 I'm going to do my single my two chain 
and one more for space. So on this middle, we're going to have the four double crochets, one chain space between them, chain three, and four double crochets. That's the only thing that's different on this row. Everything else stays the same. One, two, three, for your pineapple loops. I've done my pineapple loops, three chain, again, three chain, Do your four double crochets. One, two, three. Stay the same. Here we're going to do double crochet, one chain. Double crochet, one chain. Double crochet, one chain. one two three continue to do your four double crochet so everything else stays the same that's the only difference on this row 17 is this here okay everyone so we finished row 17 going into row 18. i'm going to come back in do my single, my two chain. And do my first double crochet. And one, two chain for space. So on this row, that's the only difference there is, is a two chain space between the four double crochets. Now everything else stays the same. Three chain, continue to do your four double crochets. And one, two, three for your pineapples. So I've done my pineapples, my three chain, and doing my four double crochets. And only on the middle one, we're doing a two chain space for each double crochet. Chain three, so here we have done one chain space, now we're doing two. One, two, One, two, one, two, and repeat everything. One, two, and three. So that's the only difference on this row is the two chain space. Okay, everyone. So going into row 19, this time the only difference is, is two double crochet in the same stitch. Two chain. And we'll complete it when we come around to it. Everything else stays the same. Chain three and your double crochets, your four double crochets on both sides the same way, and your chain three for the pineapples. So again, after doing your three chains, come in and do two double crochet in the same stitch, Chain two, chain three, 
and your three chain stays the same. Okay, so I'll meet you at the beginning of row 19, I believe. Just check because I usually make mistakes calling out rows. Nine, uh, this is row 19. I'll come to you in row 20. Okay, everyone, finished row 19, going to 20. Now, row 20, 21, 22. It will be just an increase um, until we have five double crochets. Okay, I hope I'm calling the rows properly. So this is row 20. On row 20, we are going to add um, another double crochet. So we'll have three. Row uh, 21, we'll add again a double crochet. We'll have four. Chain two. So two on your first double crochet and one on the second with two chain space. The rest stays the same, one, two, and three. Continue to do your four double crochets and your three chains for the pineapples. So we're gonna be adding three on this row 20. Row 21, two on the first double crochet and one per each. So we'll have four groups of four. And then the next row, we're going to add again, we'll have five. So I'm going to meet you at the end of my row uh, 22, which should be five double crochets. So 20, 21, four double crochets, 22, five double crochets. So I'll meet you at the end of row 22. Okay, everything else stays the same. Three chain, your, your loops and your four double crochets. The only difference is, is on here. We're increasing one, okay? Okay, everyone. So I completed row 22 as we left off on row 20 with the three and then row 21 added one more. So we have four in row 22, we have five. Now we're going to do one double crochet per stitch. So there is no increase on here except we'll be doing inside of the chain space. I'm just going to go directly up three chain into the next one. So we'll have five double crochets just the same. And five double crochets inside of this two chain space. Now, some of you have a very tight uh, tension, so it's probably very small, but you sh I'm sure your tension on the double crochet is also tight, so you should be okay. If I can do it, you can do it. So, five double crochets in here. One, two, three, four, five, and then one per stitch. And then again, one, two, three. Let me just see. Okay, I was almost making a mistake here. I wasn't sure about this, and I had to get my brain going. Okay, so instead of doing the three chain, we're going to do two chain only, okay? I'm going to cut down a bit on the chains. Continue to do your four double crochets. One, two, three chains. Stays the same for the pineapple. One, 
One, two, three. So the pineapples are three chain. So on this row 23, you should have one, two, three, four, five loops for the pineapples. One, two, and three. Coming and doing my four double crochets. One, two chain coming in, doing the five double crochets on the motive there, and then five inside of the two chain space. Now, if you're watching up ahead and you have not done this row yet, if you're watching a bit, of, that's why it's important to look up ahead. You could always do a three chain if your stitch is too tight. Um, yeah, too tight. Sometimes my brains, people. Three, four, and five. Okay. So basically, um, doing the four double crochet, and then five inside of the loops, and then on here and here, three. Uh, here is two. Double crochet, we're cutting down on chain. And here is three. Okay, the pineapple ones. All right, so I'll meet you at the beginning of row 24. Okay, everyone. So, finished row. Twenty-three, going into row twenty-four. So I'm just gonna go straight up with three chain. And one chain space. Oops, skip one into the next one. I'll see. I might have to do a two chain space. I'll see if skip one into the next one. One chain, skip one into the next one. One chain, skip one into the next one. Skip one into the next one. We're going to be doing this to the motives here. Skip one into the next one. Now when you get here, you're going to do your two chain. Do your four double crochets. Do your three chain for the pineapples. Another thing is if you find that it's too tight here for you, you can do a three chain as we were doing before. One, two, three. So the only difference is really is on here. And if you find that it's too tight here for you also, okay, we'll complete it here. It's from here to here. We'll do a two chain. You can do a two chain, okay? So pretty much everything else stays the same. One, two, and three. Do your four double crochets. your two chain and now we're going to start uh, skipping by one so skip one into the next one one chain skip one into the next one okay i'll meet you in the next row okay everyone going into row 25 So I'm going to go up again, one, two, three chain. I'm going to come inside of the same one and do another double crochet. One chain space, come inside the next one. So on this motive, that's all we're doing. We're doing an increase of two double crochet and one chain space.
Everything else stays the same. So one chain in between and two in the same stitch. Okay, when we come around, we'll finish off the rest of them here. Two chain and continue with your four double crochets and your three chains for the pineapples stay the same. So you should have three loops left on this row on the pineapple of course okay and again your four double crochets two chain and proceed with two double crochets on each stitch one chain space in between them I'll meet you at the end okay everyone going into row 26 row 26 will be exactly like this row 25 we just finished doing the only difference is we're going to do two chain space. Everything else stays the same. So two double crochet, two chain, two double crochet, two chain. That's the only difference on this row. Okay, And I've missed one here, so it's okay. This is good when I miss something like that because then it teaches you guys how to fill it without taking it down. So you would just come inside. You do a triple, so roll twice. Come in where you're missing, stretch it. Take out once. Come right on top of that. I'm going to come right on top of that first double crochet, complete, and then again on top of the triple that we just did. So you have your two just the same without taking it down. Two chain space again. And two double crochet. Everything else stays the same. Okay. And we have one, two, three loops left. It's going to continue to be the same uh, for the next two, three rows. Okay. The only difference is next row, I'm most probably going to do a two chain also. You could always look ahead of the video, of course. And the row after that, I might do a three chain. I'll see if my tension is asking for a three chain on the other rows. But I'm going to come back to you once I'm done. It's just a repeat now for the next two rows. Everything else stays the same. Two chain. And two double crochet. One per stitch. Where you have... Your two chain space here stays the same. And your three, your four double crochet stays, everything else stays the same. And your three chain loops for the pineapples. Okay. One, two, three. So you have two loops left on the pineapple. Okay. 
and continue with your four double crochets. So it's almost similar to the last pattern that we did, but the other one is with triple. Here, these are triples, okay? That's the difference I'm doing with doubles. Okay, so I'm gonna continue my next two rows this row and the next one, and I'll meet you at the end. I believe it's row 26, right? Let me just confirm here. No, we are on 26. 26, so we'll do 27. And this row, uh, 26 and 27, I'll come back to you at the end of 27. Hey everyone, so I finished row 27. So all three of these rows, 26, 25, are exactly the same thing, okay? Well, except for the two chain space on 26 and 27. 25 has one chain space, okay? We're still going to repeat exactly the same thing. One, two, three, come back in. So we're still doing those two double crochets. One, two, three space, this, uh, three chain this time between space. And pretty much exactly the same thing, just three chain instead of two. We are almost there. The two chains still stay the same here. The four double crochets, of course, because we still have one loop to cover down to close out on the pineapple. One, two, three. And then just repeat exactly the same thing all the way around. I'll meet you in the next row. Okay, everyone, finished row 28, going into row 29. This time is going to be a little bit different, so we're going to go up three chain. In the same one, we're doing two in the same stitch, one chain into the next one. Two again on the same stitch and we have one more row I'm doing two chain only two in the same stitch one chain space and again Two chain. So we're going to do this all the way around the same way on these motives. Okay, so I've done my two double crochet on the same stitch, one chain, two chain space coming into the four double crochets we're going to cut through so two three i'm going to do an incomplete three so don't close off the last one and i'm Coming in directly, skipping that first double crochet. Now I'm going to close it in and doing the other three. So we're going to skip the last double crochet and the first double crochet. Everything else stays the same. Two chain and continue on doing your two 
double crochet in the same stitch, one chain space, and then two chain space. Okay, so I'll meet you at the beginning of the next row. And of course, once it's blocked, it will be absolutely beautiful. At least I think so, right? I've created it, so I better think it's beautiful. Okay, everyone, so row 30, last row. So I've closed in with slip stitch. I'm going to do the walk to the center, as I call it, with a slip stitch into between these two uh, groups with a single. I'm going to come in the next one, and I'm going to do double crochet. One, two three, four, five, six, coming in between, single, and again, double crochet inside of the two chain space, two, three, four, five, six in the center with a single okay so we're going to be doing that so i've reached where we have the double crochets i'm going to do two chain i'm coming in the first double crochet with double crochet into my second i'm only doing uh, incomplete Coming in the next one, closing it off, and then one more. Two chain, and again repeat um, all of the uh, process that we just did. So we're going to come in the single with a single in between, and do your six double crochets. in between the center of the groups with a single. So this is what it looks like. I will have a little video with it in display at the end. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. This has been a very, very long time, uh, years ago that I had created this pattern. And um, thank you so much for being here. Please give a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And and if you like it, of course, and if you're not subscribed, please do so. It helps the channel tremendously. I can't stress enough asking you to please do it, not just for myself, but for other creators that you like their channel. It's a way of appreciating and helping them to grow even more. So God bless you. Uh, stay safe. Take care of yourselves, first and foremost, and then each other. And I will see you in the next video, sending lots of love and lots of prayers to every single one of you. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.